What's going on guys? Welcome to the fish room. Hunter has a rock. We're not going to play with rocks. Um, it is water change time, water change day, and I'm hanging out here and I was like, let's bring the YouTube peoples along with me as my as my almost three-year-old son. Turns three tomorrow, so everybody in the comments, please wish Hunter a happy birthday, and we'll go through that, and in like a year when he can learn how to read, we'll read them all, and he will say thank you for wishing him an early or late birthday. So, we're doing some water change action. Got some water coming out of Mr. Argentia's tank. A new little bit, actually, this guy over here. Beast Gorillas on River. Um, takes the thing out of the filter, doesn't even knocks it over, so I just turn it off. I'm like, you know what? You're just going to have to deal with it. Not like he's hurting our filtration anyways. Um, got some water draining over in Mr. Azul's tank. You guys didn't know, I have two methods in which to remove water from my fish room. I have a nice little gravel back here made with some nice, fantastic garden hose, as well as just one that I just hang on the tank. Also made in garden hose. Anytime you're going to throw away a garden hose, wait, stop, take it over to your fish room, and then create. Because you can do a lot of stuff with a bunch of random tubing in a fish room. Hunter, what are we doing? This one for that water tank. This one for the water tank? Can you say hi to everybody over there? Hi, Look, it's a water tank. Look, it's a water tank. Well, like I said, we're just hanging out. I just want to bring you guys along, show you a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Um, let's go over here and check out Mr. Azulio over in his tank. There he is, Mr. Beautiful Azul. Come here, buddy. Give you guys a little side profile. And this was supposed to be a one take, but I guess it's going to be a two take because I accidentally pressed the close button on the camera, on the phone, and it shut off the screen and shut off the camera. So, that was a side profile of Mr. Azul. Uh, this is a 30 inch wide tank. You guys can kind of get a reference in terms of how big and large this fish is getting. I don't know how well it exactly translates through the camera, but um, he's getting big. He's, he's freaking massive. And we'll just, we'll just put these over here where he can't reach them. Because if I put them somewhere where he can't reach them, he's just going to grab them. Um, it's getting big, he's huge. He eats a lot. We've been doing uh, my last video, our bulk fish food. Absolutely loves it. Everybody in the fish room is smashing it. Um, nobody's died yet, so maybe it's quality food, maybe it's not. Um, but they're doing good. Doing good, doing good, loving the food. Everybody in the fish room is large enough to eat the food, so it's, it's nice, it's nice. Let's go check out Mr. Argenti over here. He's looking freaking awesome. Where's he at? Check him out. It's really cool. Nice reflection in the background of my son. Look at that profile. It's not. Oh, didn't do it this time. Fish is going to be a stud. He's got a nice profile. Developed a little bit of a nuchal, and the fins on those Argentias are just popping. Crazy awesome. I love it. Let's go down. He's looking a little. Hunter, are we throwing stuff in the fish tanks? Why? Yeah. Hashtag three year olds. I'll give you guys a little bit of a, a size reference here. I'll get down here right next to him. Everybody. Give you guys a little size reference in terms of how big this fish is. If I were to guess, maybe 16, 17 inches, still with room to grow. And um, before I make this video too crazy long, we gotta switch tanks over here with this. You guys can come along with me. So we do a little bit of this. We're gonna try and do this all. Before we lose our sight and run over, run over. I think we got it. Water changes usually consistently go here, to there, to there while I'm draining water in here the whole time because it's the larger system. And uh, most times I don't, unless I'm doing a gravel back on both tanks, I just drain from one tank because these both run into the same system. So I just kind of 
take out from the big tank. If I do a 50% change in here, it's probably, I don't know, about a 30% total change in the system. Uh, so it's kind of how I do it. And I'll usually, by the time I get done on the Gorilla's tank back there, this one's low enough, I'll do a little gravel back action. Because I've already got it open, might as well do a little bit cleaning. And uh, usually that's that. Okay. Now before we get you guys out of here, because I know you guys got stuffs to do, you probably have kids to take care of, and if you don't, you might be a kid and you need to take care of yourself. Um, and if you don't, and you're like, I, I don't know where that was going, but we've got some awesome news. Um, not sure if it was in the last video or whatnot, because I don't seem to be putting out videos very frequently. But I showed you guys, we got a little bit of action over here. Hulk, right there. And then my chancho that I had turned out to be a female. Found that out when she laid eggs. It's pretty obvious. Um, there's been a lot of times on like forums and stuff, you know, people are like, I need the sex of my fish. And I'll just be like, just wait until it's mature enough. And it's, if it's a boy, it's not going to lay eggs. And if it's a girl, eventually it's going to try to spawn with something. And uh, eggs usually come out of the girl. So um, while well, he's over there, look at this. Just doing work. Just cleaning my tanks while daddy does a video. This is, this is, how, this is how we orchestrate these things. Although I think he's just chasing the fish. Are you playing with it? Okay, you gotta say spectabilis. Spectabilis. Yeah. Okay, back over to Hulk and his Miss Female. By the way, in the comments, we need a name for this female chancho. I don't know if like Hulk in real life like has a girlfriend. If he does, you guys know. We need a name in the comments. Give me a name. Um, but long story short, we have a successful spawn. And I believe we have wrigglers down in this pot where she is hiding. I don't want to get too close because he gets extremely riled up. But they spawned, I'd say, three or four days ago. Um, and it's about that time I paid close attention. Um, there were some white eggs because, of course, he can't fit in that pot. There's a reason I put that pot in there that way. It's a, a very successful thing with amphilopus pairs. The males are usually really, really wide. Females aren't so wide, so you stick a pot upside down. She can fit in that pot. He can't get to her, so she always has somewhere to escape. Um, works pretty well, and uh, they've done really well together. But they've got a spawn, got some wrigglers, and I would expect free swimming fry in the next couple days. Usually it goes spawn. A few days later, they hatch. They're wrigglers. A few days after that, they start swimming around. And um, personally, for me, I'm not usually the one to go in and mess with them when they spawn, but. I'm probably going to kick that 29 back up and uh, take some fry out like right as soon as they start uh, free swimming because I really, I'm really curious to see what we get from this beast plus the genetics of a chancho. I know it's a hybrid, that's why I won't be doing anything with them. Um, it's just for my, my, uh, Hulk needs to get it on at least once in his lifetime. Um, and if that produces some babies, have some fun with it. Make sure. Yeah, you lost the siphon, didn't you? Fishtail. So yeah, Hulk has spawned. I've had this fish since August of 2011. It is now 2015. It's been a long freaking time. He's been a long time with me. And um, I've always said in the past, it's never going to spawn him, never going to spawn him, because I wasn't going to go out of my way to go find a hoke boomer of female, but when a female amphilophus just decides to become a female in my fishery, when I thought it was a male the whole time, and things are just working out fantastically, I can't just be like, well, it's a hybrid, and that's a terrible thing. And if they can do it, I ain't against it. And I'm not going to be selling these things as hoke boomers or anything, which is... I don't want to get into the whole hyper conversation, but we're going to have some hope babies. Um, they might be mutts to some people, but they're going to be freaking beasts. Um, it could be cool to just have a line of fish from him as kind of like this matriarch of a fish, because it's awesome. Awesome. And uh, i got to get back to water changes before he does something. Because if I don't look for long enough, there's going to be like motor oil in my fish tank. And I only have motor oil sitting around in the fish room, so I don't even know if he's going to get it. But I uh, just want to say thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me again in the fish room. Um, hopefully, I can produce another video within like before a month. But uh, definitely give you guys an update on those two. 
and my phone's dying. So we will see you guys next time. Piece of advice for you guys today. If you got a three-year-old in your fisher while you're doing water changes, one eye open. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching. And uh, peace out, YouTube.